Good morning, it's Dr. James. Hey, I hope you're off to a beautiful start today. It's great to see you. Thank you for your time. And thank you for your energy. And this morning, gosh, you know what? I'm pretty much always pretty stoked to run up to the treehouse early in the morning to lay eyes on you and to serve you and uh, serve alongside of you. But this morning, there was an extra level of zeal because I woke up and I thought to myself, you know what? I really just got it. And when I say I just got it, I believe this is something that will jab, it'll rock you, it'll, it'll make you wake up, it'll help you to remember how awesome, powerful, inspired your life can be. And I remember this day like it was yesterday. And it was this day when I woke up and I said, you know what, why do I feel like I am living under the influence of fear rather than faith? Why does it seem like every single day I wake up and I have this desire to outshine my former self, to create a life that is exponentially aligned with what's in my heart? And then I fall prey to fear. Because a lot of my life was lived under the influence of the how. I want to know how it was going to happen. When I was living in the space where I couldn't get out of my own way, I was like, how am I going to change? Or when I wanted to find a way to move away from... Uh, that the addictions of my life that were not serving me, that were darkening my life and keeping me from expressing what I knew was my truth. How am I going to change this? How will it change? How will I become better? How will my life move in the direction of what I know is my truth? And I tell you, it was when I let go of the how and I fully embraced the why. Why do I need to change? Why does my life need to represent the truth that I know is in my heart? Why do I want to live with my heart so wide open that I couldn't care less about what people think? Because it's all about what God thinks, all what the universe thinks. And when I actually give myself permission to cling to my why, to embrace to my why, when you embrace your why, when you absolutely know your why, the how doesn't matter. Because you give away the fear and you will allow God, you allow the universe, you allow the higher power, you allow the quantum field to come in and say, you know what? I'll take the how. You just know your why. Because in your why, you're going to have the motivation, you're going to have the inspiration, you're going to have the insight, you're going to have, you're going to have the, <laughs> the blessing of the unbridled mojo that gets you up every single morning and says, you got this. Why? Because you know what you're here to do. Why? Because you know what wakes you up. Why? Because you know how fearless you feel when you're living in alignment with your heart's truth and knowing. That's why. Your how will always bring up the fear and challenge your faith. Your why will make you rise up and embrace the truth of who you are and realize that a power so much bigger than you than me will absolutely carry you forward and the how is taken care of. If you are ready for another level of living, another level of loving, another level of success, another level of expressing this version of you that you know is yearning to come out and, and be exposed to the world, to be demonstrated to the world around you, let go of the how, embrace your why, and watch your life transform. I can tell you I spent so much of my life in the how, and that was when my life was full of fear. And it wasn't until I understood the power of the why that I became alive and enjoyed what it meant to be fully alive under the influence of being full of faith in the full of the knowing, and full of passion and purpose. I love you, and I believe in you, and I want you to know your why, and watch yourself wake up from your self-imposed slumber party. Rise and shine, dear one. Much love and many blessings. Have an awesome day. Bye for now.